One of the images that we see, one of the Christian images that we see around Easter is often an image of an empty cross, the empty cross of Calvary. But by the morning of the third day after the crucifixion of Jesus, the cross had likely been taken down. The hill was more than likely empty of people and objects. Now the cross might have been left laying around after the removal of the body that had breathed its last breath upon it. The death that had occurred on the cross was now history. But that's not the end of the story. On the day we now call Easter, the story of death changed. What many present there that day perceived as the conclusion to the story of a life later discovered that what actually happened was really the beginning. The cross is very significant because it represents the beginning of something eternally amazing. What some hoped would end at the cross had no way of knowing that it would actually serve as a catalyst for spreading a movement around the entire globe. This is the promise and this is the hope of Easter. In those times of life that we think we have reached a conclusion, Easter should represent for us that it can really be a redemptive continuation. In Christ, even death is not the end. If death is not the end, how can any event along the timeline of life be truly conclusional? This is the hope of Easter. It's something to pray about, don't you think? Happy Easter.